In this video, we're going to look at a couple of lithium ion batteries, an 18650 and a 26650. We're going to do a charge and discharge test and test them for their rated capacity versus actual capacity. The first one we're going to look at here, I've got two of them. I've got an 18650 and I've got a 26650. First one we're going to look at is a 26650. As you can see, the cell is rated at 4300 milliamp hours. I have already discharged the cell in a flashlight and I discharged it to the point where the flashlight was getting dim. I put it on my charger, it took 2 hours and 28 minutes to charge and as you can see the cell charged up and took 4418 milliamp hours which exceeds the capacity of the battery. So the next test I'm going to do on this is I'm going to put it onto a discharger and I'm going to discharge the cell and we'll time it and we'll look at the capacity of the actual cell. So let me get out my little discharge rig and we'll get this battery discharging. So this is my battery discharge jig that I'm going to use. It's got magnetic ends that will stick onto the battery. And what this does is it'll measure the number of amp hours in the battery. It'll measure the voltage of the cells. And then I can set my discharge voltage. I'm going to discharge the cell to 2.9 volts. I'm going to discharge it at 3500 milliamps. So that's the maximum that this jig can discharge the battery. We're going to put this under a heavy load and we're going to see what the capacity of the cell is and see if it's anywhere near what the charger showed that it took to charge the cell up. And then we can put it back on the charger and charge it up again and then I will also do one of these cells and we'll see how long it takes to discharge one of these ones, the S30 Pro Series, which is a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So let's plug this or connect this one up. I have to connect the positive and negative correctly or it'll blow things up. These are marked negative and positive. So there's the negative terminal. And we'll switch this back over to here. There's the positive terminal. It's 4.17 volts right now. This should start spinning momentarily as soon as the unit starts up. And this will measure the milliamp hours when it eventually gets going. I think I may have to press that button. There we go. It's now started. And here's our current draw. So this is amp hour so far. Now this should get to, it should go to like 4300 or 4.3 is what this should get to by the time the cell discharges. So at this point, this is a, a resistive load that we're putting on here. That's why the fan to cool this down because it's using a transistor. It's mounted on the back of this heat sink. A couple, I think it's one transistor. Now there's one big transistor here that's going to pass all that current. It's a, as I say, it's a resistive load. And uh, this is going to tell us how much this battery holds. So we'll just let this thing run here. I'll start my stopwatch up and uh, we'll see how long it takes to discharge this cell. So we're about uh, halfway through. It's a, what is it, 4.3 uh, is a full uh, full discharge. And we're at 2.2 now. So we're about halfway through. It's been going for about 38 minutes. So I get about probably 75, 80 minutes before this thing shuts down. We should have uh, full capacity, I would think, on this battery. And then we'll go on and check one of the 18650s and see if it lives up to its rating too. But I think this one will because... I was I put in the full charge on uh, the battery when I charged it up, <clears throat> so I think we should get we should get pretty darn close to the rated capacity of this cell, which will put many people's minds at ease because I've heard people say, "Oh, those Chinese cells don't live up." So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, the measurement of this little board here has been I've, I've seen it to be relatively accurate for other um, batteries that I've discharged with it. Now that I've made up this little custom little jig here, I can easily test any cell. Just clip it on. Okay, just shut down. Looks like we have 4.041 uh, amp hours or 40, 41 milliamp hours. Cell is rated at 4300, so we got a little bit less, but then I also, I also had it shut down at 2.9 volts. If I'd gone down to say 2.8, we would have had a higher capacity. I don't want to run the cell too low. So for my, my standard test, I use 2.9 volts. 
So that's pretty good. You know, 4, 4.04. I'm not complaining about that. Let's uh, do the test again. I'll reset. I'll reset the, the uh, unit here. And now we'll load up another cell. This one's a 3,000. So we'll see how close we get to 3,000. Negative terminal. Magnets. Okay, negative terminal. Positive terminal. Start. We'll see how close this one gets. I'm going to put this cell back on charge. We'll see how much it took. So we took, we, we discharged 4.0, what was it, 4.04. Uh, let's uh, see how much this one takes. I'll throw this one back in the charger while this one discharges and we'll measure the amount of current that this 18650 is able to handle. This is fresh off the charger. So as we can see, this 18650 cell, the S30 series, which is rated at 3000 milliamp hours, it fell a little bit short, got 2.535 amp hours. So 2535 milliamp hours is what this cell uh, was able to uh, hold on this test. My other, the uh, 26650 is still charging and I'll get a shot of that display once it charges up, but we're going to put this one on charge now and see what the capacity that this cell will hold when it's fully charged according to the charger. Well, here are the two batteries charged up full. As you can see the 18650 took 2580 milliamp hours to fully charge. The 26650 took 4257 milliamps. So that's closer to what the the 26650 was rated even though my little discharger showed it to be a little bit low. Uh, the battery is rated at 4300 and the charger says it took 4257 to bring it up to full charge. Uh, the 18650 I think it, the, the discharger showed it was it took uh, down about 2.5 and it's almost bang on. The discharger showed 2.5 uh, or, or 2535. So that was pretty close on that one. And see the cells are living up to their rating. So that's two cells from Golisi uh, tested. Looks like they're living up to their claims. Links to both of these cells in the video link description. Thanks for watching.